Commemorating the centenary of an institution is an important achievement that not everyone can accomplish. The Winter Garden First Baptist Church, with God's help, made it. The temple has reached the centenary with strength and vitality, fulfilling Jesus' promise that the gates of death will not prevail against her. And this has been the case despite the difficulties it has had to face in these hundred years of living in the wonderful community of Winter Garden. This awesome temple has served as a refuge for all the people who in one way or another have needed support, not only spiritual, but also physical and material. Its walls are soaked in miracles, prayers, blessings, and above all, many hardworking people who have forged over the years a church full of love and hope for all God's children. Its majestic architectural structure bravely resisted the inclement weather and built with the hardness and love of the community has remained intact for a full century. The construction of the First Baptist Church of Winter Garden was around 1922. The congregation was originally organized in Ocoee, Florida in August of 1888 with nine charter members. After eight years, the church voted to relocate to 125 East Plant Street in Winter Garden, on land donated by James Lafayette Diller. Before construction, which occurred in the early 1920s, the site was occupied by a small sawmill operated by Will Pennington. The first wooden building was constructed at the southwest corner of Plant Street and Woodland Street. In 1921, members initiated a building campaign and commissioned architect J.J. Baldwin to design a new building. The cornerstone of the present church was laid in 1922 and the church was completed in 1923 at a cost of $150,000. The construction of the church was supervised by R.W. Wembish who also oversaw the construction of the Edgewater Hotel and the Black Building, currently known as the Kappelman Building. <music> Pastor Tim Groshens, along with the staff, wants to celebrate with you this unique event and invite you to be part of this great community that we lovingly receive you with open arms to continue winning souls together for God's kingdom.